What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So currently I am not necessarily in the market for a full suspension electric mountain bike, but I'm not gonna lie. The idea of being able to easily pedal uphill and then just rip laps all day sounds pretty damn fun. So I was interested to know what are entry level full suspension e-mountain bikes selling for in 2023. So without further ado, let's check them out. Specialized has a wide range of electric mountain bikes. At the time of making this video, the Turbo Levo Carbon was on sale for $5,100, which is $1,700 off the MSRP. For that price, you get a carbon frame, RockShox Deluxe Select R shock with 150 millimeters of travel, a RockShox 35 Silver with 150 millimeters of travel, or 160 millimeters of travel, depending on the size of the bike, and a blend of SRAM SX and NX 1x12 drivetrain. The motor on this bike uses the Specialized 2.2 Custom RX Trail, and the battery on this bike is a 500 watt Specialized M3500A. Specialized also offers the Turbo Canevo, which comes with 180 millimeters of travel front and rear, as well as the Turbo Levo SL, which is about 10 pounds lighter than the Levo. At the time of making this video, the Turbo Levo SL Comp is listed on their site for $5,250, which is $1,750 off the MSRP. This bike uses aluminum frame, Fox suspension, has 150 millimeters of travel front and rear, and uses a 12-speed SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain. This bike saves weight over the Levo by using a smaller 320 watt battery and the Specialized SL 1.1 custom lightweight motor. This bike comes in at $4,550 and for that price you get an aluminum frame 29er with 150 millimeter X-Fusion shock and 140 millimeter SR Suntour XCR fork. The drivetrain on this bike uses a 10-speed Shimano Dior and Shimano MT200 hydro disc brakes. This bike uses a Shimano Steps 250 watt motor and a Shimano Steps 504 watt battery. Vitus is a brand that has been around for some time, but now they are offering bikes direct to consumers in the US. Their base model full suspension mountain bike comes in at $4,500 and for that price you get an aluminum frame and the same Shimano Steps 250 watt motor and 504 watt internal battery that comes on the Cannondale. This bike comes with a bit more travel boasting a 167 millimeter rear rock shock super deluxe select R shock and 170 millimeter rock shocks domain fork. The bike uses a 12-speed Shimano drivetrain and comes with mixed wheel sizes, 29er in the front and 27.5 in the rear. While this bike uses the same battery and motor as the Cannondale, the rest of the build is considerably nicer for right around the same price. The Rise H30 from Orbea comes in at $5,300 and for that you get an aluminum frame 29er with a 140 millimeter Fox Float DPS Performance rear shock and a 140 millimeter Marzuki Bomber Z2 front fork. The bike uses a Shimano 250 watt motor with 85 newton meters of torque and a 540 watt battery with an optional 250 watt range extender. The bike comes equipped with a 1x12 Shimano Dior drivetrain and MT410 hydro disc brakes. Orbea also makes a longer travel e-mountain bike called the Wild. The starting price point on the Wild comes in at $5,700. I had to include this bike in the list for a few reasons. For one, in my opinion, YT makes the best looking electric mountain bikes. And for two, at the time of making this video, this bike was on sale for $3,749. This is a carbon frame and aluminum rear triangle 29er that uses a RockShox Deluxe Select Shock with 145 millimeters of travel and a RockShox Yari RC fork with 150 millimeters of travel. The bike uses a Shimano Steps 250 watt motor with 85 newton meters of torque and a YT Custom 540 watt battery. For a drivetrain on this bike, Bike, you get a Shimano 12-speed Dior and stopping the bike is SRAM code hydro disc brakes. All right, there you have it guys. Entry level full suspension e-mountain bikes for 2023. Have any of you guys out there ever ridden a full suspension e-mountain bike? 
Did you like it? Did you have fun with it? Let me know in the comments. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would greatly appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. But thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, keep crushing it.